Alright, I am back. Uh, no major updates at the moment, at least. I mean, I just be doing whatever side quests I can. Um, I think there's one for Trevor Franklin. I can't remember, but there's a question mark somewhere that I'll make it to um, today. At least I'll try. Um, but yeah. It's two, it'll be almost 2 a.m. I slept for a couple hours, but just can't get back to sleep, so I figure I'd play a little bit, you know. But yeah, otherwise, here we go. jobs no more. I'm trying to run straight. Yeah, that's what they all say. Lamar Black. Davis, what's up? I'm part of the team. That's what's up. Team? I don't do teams. Uh, Devin Weston's car still a team? The one Frank's running. Oh, oh yeah, that one. That shit cracking, nigga. He over at the usual place. The boost home. How'd it go? Any problems? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the man. What you fuck with this ride for? Man, fuck that amateur shit behind me. I'm a professional now, like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride, I took the ride. No drama, no security. No one saying, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, chill. Line it up on the truck. The final piece of the puzzle. That's teamwork, motherfuckers. The boss man's happy. Then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass in the truck. Let's go. Sonora Freeway, past Paletto Bay. Hey, it's uh cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah. Scooch over here. Scoochin' in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, nah. that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. Dang what I heard. 
all cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man meat. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? And this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep in your ass. Stop talking, nigga. Some boss. The boss man ain't gonna like it if we leave him whips behind, man. Get him back on. <laughs> Good thing I told you, bro. You unhooked it, man. We ain't leaving them whips. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From everything. That's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I used the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dude's at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh, shit, man. Fuck! Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. You unhooked the trailer! Hook it back up! You need to get that thing on the back of this motherfucker. Man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn. He fucked the fucker himself. It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. The road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rides. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiendin' for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol of this country. No part of its mythology like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tied with hobos. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off? Come to think about it, aside from not looking freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in office. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? A uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. A uh, sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. 
A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real sad. Ooh, he's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, I don't want to reminisce. The wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate little old bitch, ain't you? Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Screw you. That's good. Let it out, homie. Go on, let it out. Vent. The turd was probably playing me from the start. Right, yeah. Probably. How you doing? Where? When? All right. All right. Fuck. I was running this small air freight outfit in North Yankton. A tiny operation. This one beagle I could borrow when I needed it. We were kids. Kids with planes. So, this guy I know says there's this other guy needs some hot cargo moved across the border. The money's good, and I don't know enough to check references, so I'm in. A few days later, I'm waiting on the runway, and I see this dust coming up off the road. Only, it ain't one dust trail, it's two. I got told one guy in cargo. First car comes through the gate, stops, someone comes out. It's my age, just 20, kind of fat but strong in there. Love at first sight. Yeah, something like that. Other car comes through the gate. Old guy falls out, starts yelling, waving his arms and pointing at the kid. The dude that got Jack? Who fucking knows? Fat guy's running, old guy's shouting. I don't really care, I play peacemaker. Concerned citizen. I get close to the old guy and I pull out this flare gun I'm carrying around, squeeze the thing off in his eye. Shit. That was horrible. We had to pick up the body and dump it in a lake on the way. Thing was still burning in his head when we dropped him. Plane never smelt the same. Both of us threw up when we landed. It was quite a baptism. You ain't never clapped nobody before? Not real. Some deer, foxes, drifters, nothing serious. Ha, so that was like it? You and Michael rolling on through? Mas o menos. Michael didn't have the nerve back then. I didn't have the direction. Kind of worked. Until Michael got his nerve. Until he got it, and he lost it. But that's another story. So, tell me, man, what, what about you and Frank? Oh, hell no, nah, homie, it ain't like that. We ain't like y'all, you know, niggas don't get out like that. I mean, one time we was both fucking this bitch, and I was about to go in, and we kind of, like, touched dicks, but it wasn't even like a slap or nothing. I mean, man, it was like almost like a brush, you know? I mean, that shit, it, it, it wasn't nothing, homie. It, it, it wasn't even, like, awkward or nothing. But j j don't tell nobody. That's how you met Frank. Brushing cocks in an orgy. It wasn't no orgy. Fuck, man, that was a three-way. Nah, we ain't meet there. Nah, wait, wait, that wasn't Frank. That was JB in the three-way. Frank ain't into that. And he smoked crack now. JB, I mean, not Frank. So there you go. Actually, man, you know what? I don't care where you and JB met or you and Frank. It was at school, motherfucker. Davis High. Me and Frank was always tight. Lanky and fatty. We were slanging together, then we was banging together, then we back to slanging. That's a young man game, you heard me? Yeah, I heard you. But I don't really care. Never enough for him, man. Didn't want to be a soldier, wanted to be the general. Didn't want to be a slanger, wanted to be the CEO. Running franchises and shit. Who franchising in the drug game? Trevor Phillips Industries is who. Who they? They got t-shirts? It don't matter. All right. Oh shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. This is what happens when you fall asleep on the job. What you gonna do? Okay, shit, I got an idea. Keep driving. I'm gonna take the tricked out JB700 and get rid of the tail. Devin's lawyer said there'd be some new hardware on board. Hey, don't forget the headset, homie. They must have waited till we was out of town. Yeah, it looks like it, don't it?
Franklin Clinton. Mr. Clinton, sure. For the record, this falls under attorney-client privilege. Mm. Okay, we, we got, got that shipment, you know? Cops Phoenix was all over it, but we lost it. Where exactly you at? Procopio truck stop. Get here soon. The lawyer chicks up at the Procopio truck stop. I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Yeah, what he said. You taking care of. Head back to town. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now, where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Um, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, the last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? 
I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? Room for one more? I guess I do. So, big favor. Can you take me to the top of Vinewood Hills by the sign? Thanks, this is so sweet of you. I was starting to think no one was going to stop. Short dress, boots, vulnerable but playful demeanor. What more does a girl have to do these days? you cast out this kind of bait, you'd expect at least a couple of old sharks to come sniffing. But along you came. Thank God. I ain't too sure how to take that right there. Just promise me you're not going to wear my skin or imprison me in a crawl space for 20 years. Joke. Kind of. You're cool, right? Sorry, I'm coming down. I've been parting like a biatch. Yesterday was a blizzard, man. I don't even remember getting out of bed, let alone going to bed. Good times. Okay, and uh, what's on top of Vinewood Hills? I'm going to see my man. He's a security guard at the broadcast tower right behind the famous Vinewood sign. He's been stressed out, really working long hours, so I thought I'd surprise the big lug. We haven't seen each other for like a week. Or maybe it's two. I don't know. Crazy how time flies. Wait, that's my phone. Speak of the devil. Hey, sweetie, I was just talking about you. To this guy who was nice enough to give me a ride? No, not like that. I'm pitching back into town. Yeah, I know what happened last time, but I'm pretty sure this guy is okay. I ran out of money or I would have gotten a cab. Yes, all the thousand you gave me? What's the big deal? I said I'd pay you back. I'm sorry, okay? My phone was out of juice. I only just got it charged. I was staying at a friend's at Sandy Shores. You know, Brianna or Susie. No, I haven't spoken to him in weeks. This is just some random guy, I swear. Calm down, babe. What are you doing? Calm down, babe. Look, would you tell him? Man, are you talking to me? Yes, tell him you're not a guy called Brian. Look out! Jesus. You're just some random guy. Wait a minute, what? Just shout it. I'm just some random guy, not called Brian, man. There, babe, you believe me now? Babe! Babe! Shit, he hung up on me. Sorry about that. Man, it sounds like it could have gone a little bit better than that. He'll be fine when I surprise him. Probably just having a bad day. He can never stay mad at me for long. Opposites attract, you know. He's the serious, responsible, pay your bills, save for the future type, and I'm the sexy, bohemian, go off for days and do X in the middle of the desert type. I'm young. I'm still exploring my mind. Just really discovering who I am. 
He knows I'll come back. Yeah, when you run out of money. Whoa there, random guy. Less of the judging. Wait, there's my phone again. What's up? Yeah, hitching back into town. How do you think I feel? I'm wrecked. I know, I'll have one last bag etched on my tombstone. Don't flatter yourself. I can walk just fine, thank you. You're bad. Anyway, gotta go. I'll text you later. Don't tell me. Brian, right? What? No, just one of my girlfriends. Look, I'm seriously flagging now. I'm going to rest my eyes for a few minutes if that's cool. See if I can power nap my way into a second wind. So, broadcast tower behind the Vinewood sign. I think it's Mount Han Drive. Just holler when we get there. You're the best. And don't touch me or anything, okay? Man, you're a piece of work, girl. Yes, and there he is. Hey, babe! Surprise! And who's this guy? What, no kiss? Hey, punk, what the hell do you think you're doing with my woman? Are you Brian? Calm down, I don't even know the guy. I'll break your ugly face! Ah! Ah! No, Whoa, don't ah, hurt him! Ah! I've been waiting to... <laughs> what have you done to him, you psychopath? Yo!
What miracle did you want me to perform? I'll put it like this. It ain't gonna rust, okay? Pin turns are gonna be F U N. There, that should give me a boost. These tires are hardcore. Hey, what's up, homie? Hey, brother. What, you got a problem with me or something? No, nah, no, nah, you boys ain't the problem anymore. At least not the biggest problem. No offense. Yeah, well, all right then. So, can I get you to join the cause? What? Stand out here in the desert and shout about immigration to nobody in particular? Man, fuck it, sign me up. Thank you, brother. What the hell is that? Dead, 
for you. Final evidence, you hear me? Leave it to the professional. That is police evidence! Think about it, boys!
Alright, that'll have to be it for today. There's not really any side quests right now, so yeah. Otherwise, peace out for now.